look, look right here. You see it? There's the head, the eyes. You see it? I'm not sure. Chambers of the heart look good. Where? I can't see that. Look right here. See little heart pounding? Oh, yes, I can see that. Spine looks straight. I'm just going to measure it. The heart's not beating too fast, is it? No, no. That's completely normal. You want to know whether your baby's going to be a boy or a girl? Oh, we know, they told us. It's a boy. Well, I can verify that. Everybody always wants boys. It's ridiculous, huh? I've got five girls because my husband wants to keep trying. Like he's buying lottery tickets. This mask betrays the face of an evil spirit. The tribe believes the spirit has the ability to suck the soul from a sleeping female. When she awakes, she appears perfectly normal to the outside world. But inside, she no longer has any uh, thoughts or feelings. She is the walking dead. A symptom not unlike the behavior of my ex-wife. <laughs> Well, first, my wife runs off with a lifeguard. Then my son flunks out of law school. Now you're deserting me. <laughs> well, I'm not indispensable. Are you joking? Next summer in Ethiopia, research among the Surma, who is going to transcribe my notes? You're right. Who can even read your notes? Last year, last year, you were depressed, lonely. You'd never heard of Garth. Now look at you, full of hope. I can't stand it. Garth, Garth, Garth. He's found a home, he's set up a practice. You're right, he's perfect. You're meeting him in Santa Fe? Yeah. It's a two hour drive to Mangala Valley. Actually, I'm kind of nervous. He didn't even tell his parents we were married till two months ago. I think he was afraid. I love you. Uh. So, here's the speech. If you ever need me. I'll call the Surma in Ethiopia. I'm gonna miss you. It's for the baby. Oh, thank you. You take care. Do me a favor while you're up there, check out those Indian ruins. I wish you were here right now and in them. Oh, I miss you, sweetie. Oh, you'll recognize me. I'm the one who looks like a big truck or small hotel. Take your pick. <laughs> I love you. Yes. OK. Good night. Isabella, to ward off evil spirits and diaper rash. I'll miss you. Over. Your dad spotted a sale at a grocery outlet. He's preparing for the Holocaust. Five dozen bags of hamburger buns. It was a good price. Oh. We'll put them in the freezer. <laughs> the freezer's already full of discount cherry pies. Oh. oh, my kids are gonna be so far away from me. Your brother in Chicago and Rebecca in Texas. Mama, New Mexico is not that far away. Oh. Well, she'll come there for the baby's debut. 
Oh, I just wish you and Garth would have that baby here. I can't stand it. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm sorry. It's just that... Oh, you're still my little girl. <laughs> Save the goodbyes for the airport. Let's get the show on the road. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> oh, your father. God, I missed you. You're okay? You changed planes all right in Albuquerque? All right, you didn't get sick or anything? No, we're both fine. Good. This was all just a dream. To be a doctor and bring you home. You didn't even know me a year ago. <laughs> but I dreamed about you. Mm. Even before I met you, I dreamed about you. I dreamed we'd start a family in the land that my grandfather settled in, and where my daddy lives. We're gonna have a great life, Bella. Just you, and me, and Elvis. We are not gonna name him Elvis. Yes, we are. <laughs> when I'm trying to sleep. My husband and I have been trying to get pregnant for years now. No luck. We'll probably end up adopting. Well, I never thought trying to get pregnant would be such a chore. We don't really have a normal sex life. See, he has to save up semen for the insemination. You say his semen isn't strong enough to swim upstream? Oh, this is him, my husband, Dean. Dean Hatch, general contractor. I tell him, I say, Dean, maybe you're seeing the new little motorboat. <laughs> you look so familiar. Dean, Aaron, mind if I borrow my daughter-in-law for a minute? 
Mark's You know, I think I know him. Another laugh, darling. Another laugh. Look at them stars. Who knows how many lives we've lived, huh? I'm real glad you're here, Isabella. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate all this. Your acceptance and your welcome. And I know that it couldn't have been easy. Surprise, this is your new daughter-in-law. Surprise, a grandchild's on the way. Such a pretty face. Glowing in the starlight. And beat. So is the flight and the long drive and everything. I'm is the best to wait. Yeah. Oh, come on. I, I need you to charm the pants off the town grouch. Vernon. Oh, <laughs> he owns the bank. Yeah. You know, I was thinking maybe I'd get Garth and we just drive on home. Oh, honey, you don't have to drive. I didn't realize we'd be staying here at the guest house. Honey, we can save a lot of money until I get the practice going. And take our meals with the folks, built in babysitters. I don't know how it'll be living so close to your parents. I mean, they're really nice, but not what I envisioned. You're disappointed. I just thought we were going to start our own home and furnish it together. And I was going to cook you great meals. Well, hold on, hold on. Uh, Before you pass any judgments, I have champagne on ice for you, my dear. Have you forgotten that I'm pregnant? No, but I'm a doctor and the doctor says that one little toast is not going to be any problem at this stage. Why don't you go check out the rest of the house while I find some glasses? Hmm? Hmm. It's a cute place, Bella. All the comforts of home. I've seen it before. I don't like it. Honey, you don't like Chuckles? Chuckles is history. <sighs> After the baby comes, mm -hmm. we'll find a place in town, I promise. I just don't want to hurt the folks' feelings right now. 
pulled a few too many surprises on him lately. He's got his paws all over her. Good morning. I hear you don't like this guy. I like him better in the light of day. Rinda and her masks gives anybody the heebie-jeebies. It's a gorgeous morning, isn't it? I saw the sunrise over the mountains. It just took my breath away. Welcome to paradise, Isabella, because that's what it is. I got your morning all planned. I called Dr. Bob. He'll see you at 11. I'll take you down. Oh, no, no, no. That's OK. I can take myself. I'd actually like to go and scout around a little bit, get acquainted. I want to buy a crib. I thought I'd get an old one and paint it turquoise. Oh, honey, you don't want to spoil everything. By painting it turquoise? Oh, no, no. It's just a... Oh, phooey. Now I'm going to have to spill the beans. The day that you bring that sweet new baby home from the hospital, you're going to find the little back room in the guest house completely redone. Lewis and I have planned the whole thing. I'm glad you told me before you have it completed, because I have some plans. I told you she wouldn't like it. Oh, look at him. He's being modest. Your sweet father-in-law here made the crib. Really? You made it? He's so good with his hands. You don't have to keep it if you don't like it. Oh, he worked so hard on it. Finding the right kind of wood, and cutting, and sanding, bending willows, it's a work of art. I made a cute little chest, too. Rinda painted it. It's a weird color, if you ask oh. me, but uh, <laughs> that's Rinda. <laughs> oh, my first grandchild. I can't help myself. I try to hold back. Oh, you know, I'm sure it's going to be terrific. I just... Don't look at me. I, I told you we should have waited. Well, if you don't like it, Isabella, you can just throw it all away. Fill her up, please. Sure thing. Do you have any maps? What kind of maps? Oh, uh, just the area around here, the Indian ruins. Oh, gee, sorry, we're out of those. Come inside. I can look through them. He was right. Old gold mines and ghost towns. There's nothing here about the Indian ruins. I can take you up there sometime. Really? Yeah, it's one of my favorite places. Just don't say anything. My husband doesn't like me tromping around up there. Oh, well, my husband probably wouldn't want me tromping around up there either in my present state. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Isabella Larson. Everybody in town knows who you are. Oh. Big news for Mangala Valley. Somebody new coming here? Somebody different? A doctor's wife? I guess your husband was about the most popular guy in high school. I'm Janelle. Janelle Lowry. Do you work here? No, no, it's, it's my husband's. I work at the Do Me Baby. The Do Me Baby? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't name it. It's a... It's a beauty parlor. I do hair. Would you do mine? I need a cut of her in the works. I can take any time. Just stop by. Oh, thanks. It was good to meet you. How much do I owe you? You have an account. It's all taken care of. Really? Thanks. I hope you're going to like it here. I'm sure I will. Really nice. <gasps> I'm Isabella Larson. I have an appointment with Dr. Bob. <coughs> have a seat. Is there anything I should fill out? No. Come 
Cover your mouth. I was wondering how long before he sees me. Well, thank you, Dr. Bob. Bye-bye. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm here for my semen insemination. Well, I hope it works this time. Actually, this is our last try. We're already looking for a baby to adopt. We've got feelers out all over the country, practically. Well, oh, there she is. Come on in, Isabella. Well, I will tell you, Isabella, artificial insemination, it ain't nothing like the real thing. <laughs> I have all the records from Seattle. Yes, well, I don't think we are really going to need any of it at this late date. Well, I've been practicing the Bradley method. I'd like the baby delivered naturally, no drugs. Why don't you just let me figure that out, huh? I've delivered a few thousand babies in my time. I have to grab the grub while they're grabbing the good. Go ahead and take your clothes off. Is there a gown? Oh. <laughs> Don't forget my manners around here. Out here in the country, we tend not to stand on a ceremony too much. We don't go much for the formalities. Try to get right down to business. Go ahead and hop up on the table. I'm sorry, I don't think. Ah, you want some privacy to put that on, is that right? I'm out of here. I'm history. You take your time. Get comfortable. Dr. Bob, I don't think this is going to work. I don't want to sound crude to you, but this is what I tell all my new patients. You haven't got anything that I haven't seen before. Well, I'd just like to speak to some other doctors. Little lady, I have delivered babies off kitchen tables off the flatbeds of pickup trucks. I'm just a plain old country baby doctor, nothing fancy. And I'm not especially interested in all these new theories and methods, all this brouhaha. Isn't that a fine word? So why don't you just relax and let me run the show, country style? I have definite ideas about the birth procedure. So does Garth. Have I put you off in some way? If I have, I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. I'm just set on the way I want to have this baby. <sighs> Dr. Bob delivered Garth. He's birthed most of the children in Mangala Valley. A dear, dear man. I'm sorry, Winda. Maybe there's another OB in town. <laughs> there isn't. This isn't Santa Fe. Linda, back off. She don't like Dr. Bob. Garth to find somebody else. The important thing is that our little girl here be comfortable. Maybe I can have the baby in Albuquerque. It is too far. Your play. Garth is so late. Better get used to it. Doctors don't have regular hours. But you don't have to be lonely. You can always come over here. Oh, honey, don't play the Joker. That's the malice part, holding the Joker so your opponent can't play. I'm just not very good at cards. Well, Rindle will teach you. She's a master at this game, spite and malice. Lewis, go outside. Tell the damn dogs to be quiet. It's Toby Cold Creek. He's supposed to be taking care of them. Can't depend on anybody these days. You know, I thought sure Garth would call by now. I think I'll just call it a night. Well, don't stop now, honey. I mean, you're uh, about 30 cents down. I'll accept the loss. There, you see, Rinda. We bored her so much she don't even care about money. Not bored, I'm just sleepy. Well, you got to have some dessert. 
I made a beautiful chocolate cream pie, all slathered with cream. The real stuff, not the kind you get in a can. Mm. Oh, no thanks. Dinner was so filling. Well, I insist. I spent all day on it. Loose the dogs. You know, sweetheart, you could use some of that, uh, that cream. I mean, put a little meat on your bones. Don't mean to make you sweat. Good night. <laughs> Bat! Babylonia! Quiet out there! What are you doing in here? Cleaning out the drains. What drains? In the shower, in the basin. There is nothing the matter with the drains. Anyway, it's 10 o'clock at night. <sighs> Mrs. Rinda asked me to do it. She wanted me to bring her back any hair I found. Hair? I didn't find any. What are you talking about? If there's something the matter with the drains here, we'll simply clean them out ourselves. I don't want to find you in this house when we're not home. I don't care what Miss Rinda says. Do you understand me? How's a crib lizard? What? The little baby. The little baby's just fine, thank you. Get out of here. Buzzsaw fluid from the Albuquerque for microsurgery. He's a hand specialist. I've been in the operating room for 12 hours today. Is he going to be all right? That's too early to tell. Well, I think so. The guy had nerves of steel. He yelled out to his wife and kids uh, to gather up his fingers and put them on ice. Smart. How you doing? Okay. Uh, just let me lay down for a minute. I'm so beat. Yeah, babe. Why would your mother want a piece of my hair? Yeah. Toby Cold Creek was in here tonight going through the drains. Uh, maybe he wanted it. You know, maybe it's an Indian thing, yeah. Get somebody's hair. He got power over him or some uh, stupid hocus pocus. Uh, I can't think right now. I'm dead. Well, it made me feel really uneasy. Five minutes. Do you like it? The only place my husband wants to go is bed. Honey, you gotta lay down the law. That's what my sister did. She got her way. They went on a cruise to Australia. Shh, I'll never even see Las Vegas. Born here, married here, imprisoned here. I'll die here, too. Now, are you sure you want it short? 
Not short, just shorter. I just want something easy for when the baby comes. I love Las Vegas. That's where I got these. See, Norma Jean. Mm -hmm. I collect them. You like Las Vegas? I've never been there. Huh. Well, you can ride it off now. Those people land in Mangola Valley, they tend to go nowhere. Well, I think I've liked it so far. We've only been here a few weeks. Give it time. You'll hate it. How do you get up there? I'd love to see the petroglyphs. <laughs> well, you can climb this ladder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I don't think I'll do that today. <laughs> I want to do some research when he's born, though. I was thinking I could put him in a backpack and come up here and scout the hills. Oh, this place. It doesn't get any better than this. Yeah. That's why I come here. It's like a temple. Nobody bothers me up here. They hate this place. Too many good spirits, I guess. You know something? Your hair looks great. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I went to an expert. <laughs> Do you know... You know what you said this morning about me hating this town? Forget I said that, okay? I, I just get ornery sometimes. My old man uh, slugged me this morning. Tends to ruin the day. That's terrible. You know, you can get help. <laughs> There's no help. This is a hellhole. Evil. Evil? Evil. As an evil people. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Most of the people in this town are depraved. Come on, that's not true. I mean, I've met incredible people here. They're kind, friendly. Don't let the facade fool you. If you look, you'll see it. Sometimes the light hits a certain way, and these people don't even look human. Oh, I can't talk to you. They'd kill me if they knew I told you. Wait, you should leave, okay? Just get out of here like there's no tomorrow. They'll get you. And for sure they're gonna get your baby. Wait! Janelle? Oh, don't tell me. Janelle Lowry. Oh, man, I feel sorry for her, baby. She's a town nutcase. You know what? She had this big, huge bruise on her face. Her husband had hit her. Honey. Janelle Lowry has the sweetest husband in the world. He runs a service station up on Santa Rosa. Anyway, what else did she tell you? Nothing. Well, I mean, I didn't take it all seriously. She said she didn't like living here. She said that I wouldn't like it either. She said somebody was gonna get our baby. I mean, I knew it was nonsense, but it's just... Well, of course it's nonsense. Honey, I'm sorry. I've been neglecting you. No, it's... Garth, you know, sometimes when I look at people here, they do look terrifying. Even your mother sometimes. And this Janelle person said honey, that there's... Honey, what? your mind and body go through a million different changes when you're expecting a child. It's normal. So do me a favor and stay away from Janelle Lowry with her stories. Doctor's orders, okay? Okay. Hey. Hey. Hold on a second. Scoot over. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get Harvey to cover for me at the hospital tonight. I'll be home early. That's a promise. You hear that, Elvis? Pop's home early. You got any idea how pretty your mother is? Just wait till you get out of there and see her face. He kicked. Of course he did. He knows his old man. Hey, how about I make us dinner tonight, huh? I could get us a roast chicken, big salad, just us. Just yeah. us. Your mother wouldn't mind that for one night, I mean, if we didn't have dinner with them. Don't worry about my mother, okay? Tonight, you and me are yeah. gonna spend some time alone for a change.
something? No. From Garth. He didn't come home. I was gonna come over and tell you as soon as I finished my way over here. He called from the hospital. He called you? Well, he didn't want to wake you, darling. It was a terrible accident. He got called in the emergency. Poor girl. She must have gone off the bridge, huh? I like them raw and runny. <laughs> a little uh, hot salsa, warm tortillas. Who went off the bridge? Nobody you know. Nobody you want to know. Went off the Devil's Gate Bridge over by the Indian ruins. Critical condition. She's probably over there smoking dope. <laughs> she worked at the uh, Do Me Baby. Janelle? Was it a young girl named Janelle? Am I a bull in a china shop or what? You met her. Yeah, Linda said you got your hair cut. Looks like she did a good job, too. Listen, you want some of these? I'll fix them myself. Put a little cheese, hot tomatillo sauce on it. What you say? No, thank you. I'm not very hungry. You know what I did? I pulled two little calves today. Twins. I'm getting pretty good at it. Maybe I could help you with yours. Nothing so sexy as a pregnant woman. So fertile, fecund, <laughs> fruitful. Well, where's she going? Wait! I'll go to town with you. <laughs> She was yelping. She was yelping. Well, I mean, the sounds she made, they weren't human. And she was scratching at the earth with her hands. It, it seemed like it moved. It opened up. The separable soul. Uh, the individual goes into trance. The soul leaves the body and uh, transforms into the shape of an animal, goes around wreaking havoc. I feel like I'm hallucinating. I mean, people are changing. They're contorting. When I saw her shadow against the wall, it was like it was uh, an animal faced with a snout and horns. 
Over the ages, individuals have been known to uh, metamorphose their bodies into animals, birds. Oh, now, nobody believes that. You don't believe that, Hobart, so don't be giving me that mumbo-jumbo. You may not believe in pagan religions, but they exist anyway. And there are various factions of them. There, there's good and there's evil ones. And I've heard there's a lot of splinter groups up in that area. People practicing black magic, voodoo. This sounds like the craft. The craft? What did you say? Witchcraft. It sounds to me like witchcraft. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Witchcraft. I... Isabella. Oh. Isabella? Isabella. Hello? Hobart. It's Garth. Uh, this Garth. Isabella's very upset, and she has good reason. We've got to talk, Garth. It's all right. I'll take care of everything. Wait a minute, Garth. Hold on. Garth. Where were you? Uh, I waited, I waited and waited for you. I did, I was so frightened. Shh. Honey, it's okay, I'm here now, okay? Come on. Garth, listen to me. Do you think your parents could belong to some kind of cult? Of course not, what are you talking about? I saw your mother sitting on the floor naked. <laughs> well, no wonder you were frightened. No, no, this isn't a joke, Garth. Really, I talked to Professor Hobart. Now, I know this is going to sound crazy, but he said it could be witchcraft. Wait, wait a minute. Sit down, sit down. <clears throat> Professor Hobart says that my mother's a witch? Is, is she that was, what She me? was making noises. Like a wolf or something, something unearthly. Oh, come on. Honey, come on, Bella. It's me, Garth, your husband, remember? Huh? I know, that's why you gotta listen to me. No, oh, please, try to believe me. We could be in the middle of a coven of witches. Oh, Isabella, get serious. You're letting this thing get way out of hand. Maybe it's because of the pregnancy, honey. I mean, these things get magnified. Feelings, emotions, it's normal. Tell me what you want me to do, baby. Tell me what you want me to do. Keep them away from me. Your parents, keep them away from me. You got it. You got it. We'll leave. Bye bye, Brazil. Whatever you want, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you too. Oh. oh. What is it? I have, I have a pain. Isabel, listen to me. The baby's in a breech position. We're going to have to do a cesarean. No, not here. Oh. Take you to Albuquerque. There's no time. I'll take you to Albuquerque as soon as the baby's born. Everything's going to be just fine. Okay, here we go. One, three. Right. Three's ready. Two. Three. You got it. Good. God, don't leave me. Right here. Hello, gang. Mm. Hello, Garth. How's it going? All right, Doctor. Let's get at it. Yeah, well, start me out of you, will you? You're very immature, this one, don't you think? Oh, she's young. <laughs> Give her time. Are you talking about me? <laughs> no, but we're talking about his new girlfriend. <laughs> well, that should do it. Let me have that closet with you, man. Hey, Fred. Yeah? Got a couple of... Uh, Garth. Native Browns yeah. and three cutthroat. About <laughs> five miles above the dam. All right. Yeah, I spent the whole damn weekend tying up them killer flies. And boy, do the fish love them. <laughs> they ate them up. Are we getting the blood pressure on here? 135 over 70. Yep, cut my limit. I got a couple of two-pounders and mess of rainbows. Yep. My wife fried them up this morning for breakfast. Cornbread and <laughs> biscuits, oh, that's living. <laughs> hey, move that light over this way a little bit, will you? Wait a minute, that's it. That's better. Breathe deeply now, Isabella. Um, Take it in. I just want to put my mama. Easy. Oh, mama. <laughs> that's better. All right, now. 
It's all right, little lady. It's all right. Let's go now. I think this should go very simply, Dr. Bond. Yes, I think so, too. I think we're going to have a fine baby boy out of this. Oh, yes. Scalpel, please. All ready. Ah, thank you. And now, young lady, here we go. You're doing fine, Bill. Just fine. Just let nature take its course. Juice here, Fred. Difficult time, but you made it. Where's the baby? Just take it easy. Is he all right? Is my baby all right? Isabella. Honey. Drugged, Isabella. You didn't see anything. No, where is he? Where is he? I want to see him. I don't believe you. No. Isabella. Oh, I demand I... to see my baby. Isabella. You don't want to see him. defects in the Devil's Gate Bridge. A Mangala Valley Hospital spokesperson reports that Janelle Lowry is in critical condition. And talking about casualties, what about the beating the Lobos took last night, Terry? Looks like they could use a little transfusion.
Janelle? It's Isabella. It's Isabella Larson. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna get out of here real soon. Your baby. It was still born. My baby was born dead. You saw? No, my husband saw. He told me. They're coming. No, nobody's coming. Nobody saw me come in here. They, they all have a brand. Goat's head. It's above their ear. Under their hair. Look. Jake Tar. Remember. Jake Tar. I should have told you. What is it? Jake Tar. What is it? He was chosen. He escaped. He can teach you. He's got the power. Tuscarora. In Tuscarora. Listen. Oh, listen. I'm right here. They took your baby. No. No. I believe Garth. Whatever it is in this town. He's not a part of it. I love him. I know he's telling me the truth. But what about my mama? She said she was coming. Oh, uh, honey, she pulled her back out. Your dad called this morning. I'm afraid she's stuck in bed. Dr. Larson, can I get you to sign some discharge papers for us? You sure can. Where is she? The woman who was in that bed last night. Gone. Gone where? Home? No. She died. Let's go home, honey. Let's go home. I wish you'd stay up in the main house for a few days. It's better for her here, Mom. Feels more at home. I want to keep a close eye on you. You gotta get you feeling better. We're here whenever you need us. But we're not gonna bother you. You can have all the time you want to be alone. Garth, explain to us how you need that. Yeah, right now I just want to sleep and sleep and sleep. That's the best thing in the world for you, honey. We'll stay completely out of your hair. We just want you to know how much we love you. See? I'm training them. It might take a while, and there may be some backsliding, but they're trying. You just close your eyes, my darling. Go to sleep, okay? Okay. baby was alive. I knew it. What are you talking about? What 
did she say? She's just letting her imagination run away with her. My baby's crying. My baby's crying for his mother. Oh, no. You're dreaming. There's no baby here. I can hear him. I hear him crying. You can hear him. You've got him hidden back there. Sweetheart, why don't you just let me help you back in the bed? Calm down. Just calm down. Oh. That's dangerous. Why don't you just hand me that six shooter, darling? trying to keep him from me. Oh, honey. It was a dream. It was a nightmare. I was shooting people and he wasn't there. My baby wasn't there. I know what that's like, Bella. No, you don't. No, you don't. You couldn't. I lost a son, too. That feel better? My mother was such a good nurse. I used to love to get sick. She always let me sleep in her bed. And in the morning, I'd listen to all the old soap operas on the radio. Stella Dallas, My Gal Sunday. Then she'd bring me tea and toast with cinnamon and sugar. How old was he, your son? He was older. Sixteen. Garth never told me. He had a brother. too painful. Might have been easier if he had died. Then at least I would know. But Bella, my son, just disappeared. One day he was there, and the future looked so bright. And the next day, gone. He got in with the wrong people. They twisted him against us ran away. I never heard from him again. He was older than Garth? Six years. He was so intelligent. A genius, really. But he was sweet and funny. <laughs> I just never understood. We had such plans for him. All I know is that I felt empty. And I still feel empty. My son, my boy. The pain dolls as the years go by, but... You never really get over it. You know? I'm so wrong about you. Your baby wasn't right. It wasn't right inside you. 
Your body knew that. It had to affect you. Nightmares. I thought they were real. I mean... It'll be all right, you'll see. We'll all start over. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know I'll never be like your real mother. But you are my daughter. Daughter I've always wanted. Always dreamed. I appreciate it, Bella. It's how hard you're trying to get through this. You shouldn't have buried him before I came back from the hospital. Bella. I know how much you're suffering. We gotta be strong. It's only been three weeks. We're gonna get through this together. Now don't be scared. They won't bite you, Bella. Here you go. <laughs> bravo! Oh, bravo! <laughs> oh, you sweet doggy. Oh, go, they're pussy cats, puppy dogs. Nothing like a thick steak. Really gets a person pumping. You eat a few of those, your energy will be back in no time while you'll be up on a horse in a few weeks. Hey, how about that, Bella? We'll take some long rides, catch sunrise and sunset. Oh, and you can gather wildflowers. For my birthday last year, Lewis brought me back these beautiful Indian paint brushes. And he's always finding perfect cattails in the river bottoms. <laughs> I hope that ain't too bloody for you. Homegrown beef, no hormones. It's safe. You are not eating in the house of Hades. That's my girl. <laughs> tastes great, huh? Mmm. It tastes delicious. Delicious. Excuse me. Taryn. Hi. Oh, you got your baby. The adoption came through. Listen, Isabella. I'm really sorry about what happened to yours. That was really difficult. But I'd love to see your baby. I mean, it won't upset me or anything. Well, that's Dean out there honking. I just ran in for some formula. There's been a mistake. Where did you get this baby? We went to a lawyer. Everything's legal. The mother lives in Arkansas. Now, she is only 16, oh, but she was a cheerleader. This is my baby. This is my baby. This is my little boy. <laughs> Are you crazy? They've lied to you. This is my little boy. Away from the baby! Okay, now, now just calm down. I'm Detective Wetzel. Look, nobody here believes me. Like, now go to the cemetery, go to the cemetery, dig up that coffin, because I know that it's empty. All right, all right. I know it sounds absurd, crazy, but they gave my baby to another couple to prepare it for something. You mean the witches? Yes, the witches. I think my baby, our baby, was supposed to fill some special purpose in the coven. The witch's coven? Yes. 
And my husband doesn't believe me. I'm afraid. Look, I hear you, Mrs. Larson. And I'm going to take care of this myself. You believe me, don't you? Yes, I do. Just leave it to me. I have your best interests at heart. I took the liberty of calling your husband, Mrs. Larson. Everything's going to be just fine. Isabel. Once you understand all this, it'll be all right. Get me my baby. That's all I want. Just get me my baby. If only I could, Bella. I... He's not yours anymore. He's not mine. high priest, my father, and now our son. If you could just be open to it, to the other side. Bella, I'm asking you to step off the edge, to cross over with me. I'm going to leave you for a little while. I want you to take these. They'll help you sleep. Learn to accept it, Bella.
There are guards out there. Police, too. I know. There's nothing I could do even if I wanted to. There are too many of you. All over the world. You understand? He has been chosen. This is his initiation. He'll be the leader. Are you going to brand him now? They're waiting for me. I have to prepare. Can I just hold him? Just for a moment? I'll never ask you again, please. Just let me hold my baby. Never. He's ours. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Listening to you sing that song made me remember when my mom sang to me a different song, but pretty, like your song. Where is she now, your mother? She dropped her body two years ago. I found it frozen in the snow up by Durango. She had her demons. One of them was alcohol. But we all have our demons. Does he? Does this little baby have demons, too? He won't be like them, will he? He won't grow up to be like his father. We we're all born with fangs and claws. We just have to learn to use them as teeth and nails. I thought you were one of them. Just passing through. I tried to warn you about your hair, but it just got all mixed up. What was that? Maybe a coyote. Nobody knows about this place. I used to hide here from the yellow school bus. The yellow school bus that took us away from the reservation and our parents. Tomorrow, we'll ditch that truck. Go to my uncle's. He has a van. See? A coyote. He's all alone tonight. Hungry and frightened, too. Huh? He likes that present. His name is Luke. Do you like that name? It's a good name. I rigged up a baby seat for the car. Oh, Tied it down good. Great. Bye. Bye bye. How's a crib lizard? Crib lizard's fine. He liked his breakfast. There's no marks on his body. Nothing sinister. Where were you going? My parents, I guess. Too dangerous. They'll look for you there. Not just them. The police, the FBI. They'll say you kidnapped the baby. The professor that I worked with in Seattle, he'd know what to do. Your husband knows this guy? Yeah. There's a man, Jake Tarr. A powerful man, if you can find him. Yeah. I killed a man. I just ran head on into Lewis. It was self-defense. Fear is the first enemy. You gotta defy it. Say goodbye to all you leave behind. That is the way of the warrior. You can win. You and the baby here. You and that little boy. Luke. Someday this will all be past us. Someday we'll be safe. And you'll grow up like other children. I believe that somewhere there are people praying for us. 
I believe that somewhere there is someone who will help me save my child.